Hello and welcome back. I'm playing some more Star Maid. Uh, we are. I've uh, just kind of set up some tests here for uh, power generation because it is um, it's a little odd and not something you may necessarily know intuitively. Um, each one of these setups has 16 power blocks in it, uh, and these first three are all basically generating the same amount. So. My understanding of the way it works is it creates a box around it, and the larger the box, the better the power regeneration. Um, they all seem to have the same load of 20,000 and the same recharge rate of 2,836. So, uh, so that one does, that one does, and that one does. Uh, but here, where they're all compact like that, uh, while it has the same load, it only has a recharge rate of 1,013. So by configuring them like this um, and potentially separate power generators together to uh, you could fill this space in with more power generators that are separated out um, just f taking up that space and uh, get a lot more bang for your buck so that's something we're going to want to keep in mind while we're designing our pirate hunter uh, so let me gather up all this material I don't want to necessarily waste it. So one thing to keep in mind is these blocks, these cores are your hit points for your ship. Um, you can put whatever you want around it and those blocks can get destroyed. Um, but if your core takes a hit, um, that's when you start losing your hit points and if, if your core is destroyed then of course when you're in it you're dead. Um, we'll leave that out there for the moment. And um, we'll start placing a core for our fighter that we'll start working with. Um, so there we go. So I'm going to enter it and enter into the build mode so we know what direction it's facing. So that's our forward direction. So we're going to want to protect this core. Um, one of the early ways of, you know, it, it is pretty simple to, to make a, a simple fighter. We, we can add some generators on there. Uh, we'll need a weapons computer. Um, we'll add some more generators and some more thrusters. So, while this does seem like it, it and it will work, um, you pretty much have everything exposed. Uh, that's where the hull pieces will come in. We can coat this with a, a layer of uh, armor and thereby those blocks will be destroyed before it starts cutting out uh, the blocks that we want for our weapons and shields and everything. So we'll start adding some weapons on here. And as you can see from earlier, I, I placed that weapons computer so they're all showing up purple so I know they're all going to be linked in. And so we have the rudiments of a fighter already. So, as so you can see, we hit those blocks, they'll take damage. And then when it starts to overheat, that means it, it's on a countdown now. It's got about 50 seconds before it's going to blow up. And any blocks that are attached to it at that point would be destroyed. Um, if you are attacking a enemy pirate and you, you, you need to hit their core, which is sort of in the center of their ship, um, so you got to bust through their shields, then all the blocks surrounding it, and then, you know, get a lucky shot on their core, and uh, hopefully they do enough damage to go overheat it, and then at that point it basically will sit there inert, and you can collect all the blocks surrounding it. Uh, if you collect all the blocks before the core overheats, you'll be able to collect the core, uh, thereby giving you another ship core block that you can place, um, which is handy. You, you, always handy to have a ship core block on you. If you ever get stranded on a planet, you want to have a at least one or something in your inventory because it's enough to get into and take off from that planet so you can get to a shop or buy more materials or whatever you need. So as you see that overheated and, and was destroyed. Now while this seems like a nice little fighter um, and even if I put some armor on it, it's really not going to survive for very long. Um, I'm going to throw some shield, even with some shield generators, I think we're uh, not going to be in very much luck. Um, 
the other thing to keep in mind is is that core is right in the front, so anything going to be shooting at me is going to probably hit the core first, which will cause me to overheat and explode. Uh, so we're not going to really want to do that. What we're going to do, and I, I've experimented around with it, trying to make fighters more agile, um, and ultimately it hasn't really worked. So I'm going to start working on a large ship, like I'm going to make a destroyer or a battleship or something, um, which will allow me to show you how to make some turrets, um, probably in another video. Um, this is going to be a multi-part uh, video, I think, in building this. Um, but keep in mind what I said about those power generators, I'm going to be incorporating that. So I'm going to get some structure laid down and uh, continue this video um, with a little bit more stuff to show you. So long for now.